Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the People's Philadelphia Cookbook of 1976 that was shared with me by Abner Derimple. We're going to be making the almost pizza sandwich. Almost pizza. First thing we got to do, toast rye bread for 60 seconds. And yeah, I'm using the butt. Got to use the whole loaf. Now we put on spaghetti sauce. Now we add oregano. Italian seasoning blend, which is interesting because it also has oregano and the sauce has oregano. We top it with Munster cheese. Then under the broiler to melt and get brown. It's a bit of a mess, so I'm just gonna eat a little piece here, otherwise it's gonna flop all over the place, but let's give this almost pizza sandwich a go. It's not bad. Rye is an interesting choice. Um, I would not have thought that would have gone well, but it actually does go pretty well with all the Italian seasoning and the spaghetti sauce and Munster cheese. Also an interesting choice, given that mozzarella is widely available and was in 1976. I do want to plus it up though. I had some mild banana pepper rings and another piece of toast. Okay, let's give this almost pizza sandwich a plussed up with banana pepper rings and another slice of toast a go. You know, it's, banana pepper rings are just bringing a nice little slight heat, more of a pickle flavor, something that kind of brightens everything up. And the extra piece of bread is allowing me to actually hold it and eat it like a sandwich. All right, so the original almost pizza sandwich Interesting choice of rye and Munster, both worked. Uh, I would have personally put mozzarella on it. The other thing that was weird is spaghetti sauce has oregano. Then we put on oregano. Then we put on an Italian seasoning blend that has oregano. So it's a very oregano forward sandwich. So if I were to make this again, I would not follow this recipe. Plus I'd toast the bread longer so it would be sturdier to hold up to the spaghetti sauce because 60 seconds, it just sogged right out. The original almost pizza sandwich was still pretty tasty. I'm gonna give it a six and a half despite the oregano forward nature of it. Um, plus up with the banana pepper rings and a second slice of toast. I'll give that a seven and a half. It is tasty, I am gonna finish it. Uh, like I said, if I were to make this again, toast the bread longer, use mozzarella cheese, lay off the oregano a little bit. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>